guys, I'm Davey Wavy, and I'm here with porn superstar Diego Sands. So you basically like have sex for a living. I think yeah. you're, you'd be pretty good at it. I have good Yelp reviews, so five star right there. <laughs> so one aspect of sex is kissing. Yeah, and I agree. That is what we are going to explore today. Do you feel like you're a good kisser? I feel like kissing is more intimate for me. So I mean, if I'm having sex, I'm not much of a kisser. When you say kissing is very intimate, so you don't do it during sex, does that mean that sex isn't very intimate? <laughs> well, sometimes <laughs> not as intimate. I don't know. But I know what you're saying, because I feel like I feel like it's more intimate to like kiss someone than it is to like suck their dick or get fucked. Yeah. Them. Is I, that a secret? Are we I in the minority? Know. I think um, maybe. We're just, we're just, we're just whores. I think we're whores. Call I feel me. like you'd be a good kisser. Like we film stuff together for Humorous TV, and I feel like you put like a lot of your heart into what you do. Like it, there's a lot of <laughs> and your dick and, <laughs> you do, and your hole <laughs> and your calm. You put a lot of things into I what you do. Anyway. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by AdamMail.com. So one thing that I have when I'm having a hookup or a partner over or whatever, I have a little, do you see the little, the little toolbox in there? You might have to lean over. So my favorite thing is to be like, hey, like why don't you go to that box, like pick something that you like and then we'll play with it. Okay. It's really fun. What's your favorite one? It looks like just a regular dick, right? Um... Yeah. I don't, I can't. Maybe I can. He can. <laughs> <laughs> so AdamMail.com is offering us a discount. AdamMail.com forward slash wavy or use discount code wavy and you get 50% off almost any one item and free shipping on orders of $20 or more in the US. So you can start a little toy box of your own. So this is really a great deal. Make sure you go to AdamMail.com forward slash wavy to take advantage of this. So check it out and now let's Get back to the kissing. So Diego, mm. I asked you to think of a few kissing tips. Mm. Well, that seems effective. <laughs> this let's just make this a sex tape. Swipe up. <laughs> I have a I have a kissing tip. Okay. For me, maybe this feels a little bit like cliche, but it's about creating an intimate environment. It's not about the kiss itself. It's it's the circumstance in which the kiss happens. An example would be like putting your phone away. I think like the sexiest thing you can do is give like a guy the gift of your attention. If you can really be like present and focus on a guy, that's super sexy. And so I think that in the lead up to the kiss is very important. Am I full of shit? Okay. <laughs> when you're kissing a guy, is eye contact a big element for you? Like Actually, no. Okay. I'm usually with my eyes shut when I'm kissing someone. You have to be like in that moment, otherwise you're just looking at someone while you're having sex. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just that awkward moment, I'm like, okay. I would um, say, but the eye contact leading up to it is good. But then, at what point do you even close your eyes? Like, so, okay, say so like, we're about to kiss. Our eyes are open, we've made eye contact. At some point, let's it becomes- Let's just find each other. Because <laughs> at some point, your eyes are open yeah. and you're getting closer, like, it's pretty weird right here. <laughs> Is there like a is there like an eight inch rule like once you're eight inches away then the eyes should be shut and see? It's about eight inches. <laughs> I have another tip, also cliche and probably equally unexciting to you, but I really like the anticipation of the kiss. I like to like <laughs> invite a guy over for like a hike or like dinner and kind of like make this connection. And so like if you have a day of like kind of playing and connecting together before the kiss, yeah it like makes it that much juicier when the kiss finally happens. Yeah, it does. But You're like, I don't have that kind of time. No, but <laughs> <laughs> not only that, there was this one guy I actually went, uh, this was back when I lived in San Francisco and um, he was just like, super cute. He was like totally my type and I felt like, okay, let's go for up for the Twin Peaks and, and I put that whole day in there and it was just like, Oh, he was a horrible kisser. And I was like, oh, this is a waste of my fucking time. I should have just fucked him. <laughs> if someone is trying too hard to kiss, I don't know, does that make any sense? Like, yeah. when they're like, tongues are going everywhere, you're well, on your own flow. You're, you are hitting on a point, and it's like hard to describe it, but there is like a certain dance that happens yeah. in a kiss. And like, you need to know when to lead and when to follow and like, to go with it, like there is kind of a rhythm that happens. Yeah. And I think some people just kind of are like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <just> how is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually how I kiss. 
It's super oh, look at the time. We got it right. <laughs> if you're with a, a, someone that's not a hookup, but someone that you're going to be with consistently, and you guys are kind of on a different page about the kissing, okay. I think it can be like, there can be a conversation that's had you're about a bad like, kisser. No. You know that there's like an episode of this old teenage telenovela in Brazil that was just like, this whole season was about a because bad, bad she could not tell her boyfriend that he was a bad kisser. A bad kisser to someone is probably a good kisser to someone else. It's just like, like if you can communicate about like what it is that you like, like so say you really True. like a lot of spit and tongue or whatever, because you're a little pig, <laughs> then, <laughs> then you say that, like, oh, this is what I really like, like, hey. Yeah. Which yeah, is, it's good. hard for us to do that. Yeah, because we're always like, oh, is this guy gonna feel like I'm a fucking freak? Right. It especially feels vulnerable to ask for what you want with a partner. Like with a hookup, it's like, who gives a shit? I'm yeah. never gonna see him again. With a partner, if you're like, I want you to s spit in my mouth, and they're like, What? And like, <laughs> they can like use that against you for like the rest of your life if they think that that's like freaky, right? But hopefully you're with the partner that wouldn't weaponize yeah. your turn-ons. I have a good tip that I wrote down. Now, I took this seriously, I for the record. See. Someone like, else did not do their homework. It's like an Excel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over there, like, like, oh. a column. <laughs> One of the things that I like to do with the kiss is, is, obviously, you can kiss someone's lips. But you can get creative, and there's a lot of places on the body that you can kiss. The bottle. Is that your favorite place to kiss? I would not say no. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite place to be kissed on? My, um, kind of my neck. For mine, it's my hole. Do you have sensitive nipples? Super sensitive nipples. Okay. That's number two. I love So, getting kissed here? Mm-hmm. Kiss, <laughs> lick, suck, milk. I want to be like Bessie the cow, just like. <laughs> I think for a lot of people, kissing is a stepping stone on the path to sex. And that's fun, and it can be that, but kissing can also be the main course. For you, personally, tongue or no tongue? Tongue. Lots of tongue, little tongue? Mm, you have to know where we're going. Okay, it's the dance. Yeah, it's the dance. I feel like I'm a little bit of a one-note kisser. I feel like my signature move is the like, like lower lip nibble. It's like very subtle. Do you want me to demonstrate? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I kind of do one of these. Like that. Oh, but you're barely. Yeah, it's a, it's a nibble. I didn't say I'm not gonna bite your damn lip off, like uh, have blood. Like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hard now. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like my one trick pony. Like I do that, and then I'm like, well, I'm done. <laughs> Diego, maybe we're bad kissers. <laughs> is this our, is this my first OnlyFans video? Oh. Huh? Oh. Try that. I can't replicate that. That's nine years of porn experience. <sighs> I liked how you grabbed the back of my neck when you did it though, that was hot. That would have been a good tip. That's how you get kids. That's it. <laughs> Make sure you go to adamail.com forward slash wavy to save 50% off any one item and free shipping on orders of $20 or more in the US. Hey Diego, yeah. where can people find more of you? Uh, they can find me at men.com and uh, OnlyFans. Also, a few videos on Himrose TV. Oh, uh, a few did. videos on Himrose TV. Thank you guys so much for watching. Diego, thanks for all those amazing tips that you spent so much time curating and that you put so much effort and energy into. It's a long into. drive. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and as always, more to come.